Ladies and gentlemen, we are here and it is finally time to engage in the world of Rooted. Funny enough, what we're gonna do here is that I'm gonna open my pack uh, as many as I got, blow all my rupees, because that's what you're supposed to do in the new expansion. And then after that, I'm gonna craft a deck and then I'm gonna take that deck into a match and we'll see how it goes. And that will be the intro to um, into the, the expansion. We'll just take it straight to rank, whatever deck. So I won't like liquefy, well, nah, I won't. I'm gonna use my my uh, my vials uh, to make whatever deck, but I'm gonna try to base it off, you know, what can I get? I'm not gonna go too hard in the paint. All right, so first one to clean this. Winning opens, yeah, whatever. Uh, then we're just gonna get these. So we are having 25 right I'm reading that right 25 and then we also have a couple from four from winning some stuff so we have 16 from four so we had six I guess because we just had 10 so we had six in advance I'm gonna do those first we have no legendary packs so the car pack points I, I kind of hate that system I know why it exists though it's it's for whales so those are the two things that they made for people that like to whale out on the game that car point system and that uh, in the pre-release, two things. So any card that I'm specifically looking for, no, I don't see anything crazy. Mostly we're thinking about golds and legendaries because you know we're gonna be. Ooh, blood, blood, blood. Hey, Zanny, uh, Norea already making an appearance. Scalebound, but oh, just so you guys know, some of you guys might not know. Maybe you do. I hate dragon with an absolute passion, so you will not be seeing dragon. All dragon cards will be liquefied with immediate notice. Or how's that? Ah, I feel like I phrased that wrong. Um, upon immediate something, something notice. One of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, very hatcheter. Now, I would like as much portal as possible. Portal machina as possible because I want to do the nonsense. I want to be bathed in the nonsense but you could see really unfortunate get absolutely nothing but that is why I in the last video I said you guys you should definitely a hundred percent focus on one craft and then let that craft win you everything literally win you everything if you don't mind spending some money maybe you can do like two crafts when you first start off it's kind of up to you <laughs> And I do how you wanna um, do it, but eh. all right, cool. I didn't see any of uh, the cards that I was really looking for. There's some dragons in here, unfortunately, but that's all gonna get liquefied. So no matter how bad this might come out to be, right? It's not that bad. Reason being that it's not that bad is because we're gonna craft a couple cards. But since I did get one blood legendary, maybe I'll go into blood. That Blood Legendary is more for like the self pain kind of thing. Uh, more natural. Okay, boom, oh God. It's like, I, I, I'm happy I got a gold, but it's like, you? Ugh. Especially how, with how good the, the natural, uh, natural, I keep doing that. The neutral, oh my God, my, my mind, neutral, Legendaries are. God. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. Okay, Rebel Against Fate. There we go. Not even the card that you really want from Portal, because you're not really going to use it, but you know, it's, it's there. Hi. It's more for the artifact, which um, I don't even know what like what cards I have that favor or whatever. Because I forget everything that I have because of that event where you can use every card, so it's like... I don't know what I have. Wow, I'm getting all the cards, all these uh, choose cards. Haven, huh? Haven? Look at pack. Okay, that's blood as well. Oh yeah, this stupid card. Destroy a follower for two, and and self ping. If not self ping, you uh, hit the face. Yeah. For one, cards busted. Oh, this card's good too. So it's looking pretty dry right now. This is why, man. We have to go in here. Low expectations. I'm actually so happy we got one legendary. But even though it's kind of sad, right? How many packs is, is I'm, I'm opening? I'm opening 40 something, if I'm not mistaken. Just doing the quick maths, right? Just 
doing the quick maths. We'll see this card. This card's good, right? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to do uh, Evo Haven, but see, that's such a, a weak deck, it seems like. And this always happens. This always happens. Whenever, whatever craft I don't use, because I used to not do sword, right? And then I got sucked in by Evo Sword, and I would always get sword legendaries all the time. It's so stupid. And now I'm like, ah, the only, literally the only craft that I don't have, I'm not making, is dragon, and I get the dragon legendary. Crappier one too. I, I personally don't like this one. The other one is where the money. That's where you make the money. That's where you make the money, honey. So, two legendary so far. Three legendary so far. At least give me the the holographic one. So I when I liquefy it, it gives me a lot. All right. So three legendary so far. I actually don't even know the rates. I never even bothered to check that. Turn down and found the hand, deal three damage to any follower, active only one. Yeah. The card's not that bad. It's okay. Grayson. Literally has one of the coolest uh, intro. When you play him, has one of the coolest intros, in my opinion. Um, so he's pretty good. He's for Machina Sword. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of sword cards because, like I said, I, I usually liquefy it and then I'm building it back up by just not using or like liquefying any of the cards in it. So I don't really have that many uh, like Machina cards that sword has, unless I luckily got them later. But it's very unlikely, so that kind of sucks. Uh, oh, it's a little portal support. This guy's nice. I like that card. Uh, let's see. So we got one. Well, we have two legendaries that we are going to use, and I think two that we're going to just throw in the garbage. Hey, got another one of these. Choose cards. Choose your fate. Choose your fate. It looks like, unfortunately, I might have to... You know what I should have did? I think maybe they do it based on how much uh, vials you have, right? And that lowers your luck. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is the funny thing about... That's like the funny thing... Oh, we got the OP card. Um, it's the funny thing about... RNG is that when it doesn't work in your favor, you always like find some type of way to make it think like, oh, it must be X, Y, Z, and this, this in the third. Though it could be true, right? Yeah, Rolla and Grace, I'm within that 10 pack. So that was actually te really good pulls in that in that section. Oh, I could actually look at the draw rates. Won't well, take me two years. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care that much. So we got 15 to go. Oh, I like that sound. Doom. I feel like we have to pretty much craft the three of the the neutral, three of the that that, that neutral card that's in my last thumbnail. I feel like you pretty much have to make that. That, that card is going to be everywhere. If you're making natural deck, it's in the natural deck. If it's in, if you're making a marketing deck, it's in the marketing deck. I don't see why you don't run that card. It's just too good. Uh, like on turn seven, if you have it, you just use your whole hand. Ugh, it's, it's so good and if you have like a mixture what I really liked about is that if you're playing in a natural deck you can actually put in those cores and the core is actually Machina so that's another way you can get a double so I really like that aspect of it as well another Doom Devil I don't like him like there's so many times where the, I don't like the neutral cards in an expansion and I'm like I should just liquefy all of them because <laughs> they're so garbage and I just keep them, you know, because you never know what crazy deck tech someone's gonna come up with. Vice Grip this, uh, Vice Death Grip. Already butchered your name. Uh, he is, yeah, the Haven Machina. I saw like people were like, hey, he's kind of cool. And yeah, he helps out a little bit with Illumina. He's a six cost that puts two free Iron Knuckles in your hand, you know, so not that bad so that's like three machinas on the field and they also have rush they can deal with some stuff that's on the on the field so pretty good not bad not bad not bad haven machina is it is it a thing is it is it coming back with everything else i don't just see people really playing it i think natural haven right now is the better of the two so i'm not exactly sure how how he'll fit in there but sometimes cards really just sit for a while like if you're a portal player, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> portal portal players sometimes get legendaries. They look okay-ish. And it's like, uh, what? 
What am I supposed to do with this? I was actually thinking about liquefying wall of portal because they always get shafted a lot. Okay. Uh, this is a neutral, I think, right? Is this neutral? Yeah, this one's really good. Again, the double Machina Natra. So just sucking this into that other neutral will make you <laughs> get the all those cards with the reduced costs. So stupid. Um, yeah, really good card. And it's a nice two drop if you want to just drop it for two. It's slowly coming together. Now, what other people do, especially if you're going with the, like I said, you're going with the one, one deck, super deck mentality, what you actually would do is that you would not spend any rupees after this. Any additional rupees that you get, what you would save for the mini expansion. And uh, try to get everything in the mini expansion. The mini expansion, I think, happens near the end of the month, right? That's how that works. And that's my issue right now with Legends of Ruterra. Like, if you guys, well, some people probably know it's, oh, you haven't made a video for it. It's like, I feel like nothing has changed. It's like I'm playing the same uh, cards all over and over again. Adding even a little bit from time to time really helps the game out. New expansion. Get all this, delete all this stuff here. And let's make a nice, crazy deck and then bring it straight online. I decided to go with Machina Portal. It was the deck that I was mostly interested in. Uh, I just really wanted to showcase it and have some fun with it. Uh, and also, really quickly, for some reason, this card, even though it's a Machina Natural card, right? It, it's very, definitely a Machina Natural card, it says that on it. But when you put a Machina in the search, it doesn't pop up. So that might be an issue with some other cards, not exactly sure. But uh, yeah, just be careful with that. So the thing about this deck is that you have to be able to get Belfament in the hand pre-5 uh, for Heaven's Gate. So you have to kind of be a little bit picky. I was like, I'll just put whatever Machina card I want in the deck. But see, if these things put Paradigm Shifts into my, into my hand, I can't get rid of them. And that means Heaven's Gate can actually target it. So this card actually being in the hand is not that bad either. Because whatever is in your hand is going to get reduced by three. So this becomes a four drop and I can suck all my stuff up and then hopefully get Belfament on the next turn. And yada, yada, yada. But pretty much as long as you get this or this, you have pretty fun times coming ahead of you. So one match for the video. Let's see how our world's uprooted destiny is going to uh, unfold. First match underway whenever you're ready all right here we go <laughs> and it's against dragon okay regret <laughs> this world is brutal and i guess you're looking for a fight i am so we got it in the hand right so i'll keep this card I'd rather not put this in there. So, pretty much we stall till turn five, right? Uh, we're just gonna be stalling pretty much. World Reaver is in hand, ladies and gentlemen. He's definitely spell boost. I feel like I should uh, not play any cards because he's just spell boosting. This is your your moment, buddy. What are you gonna do? Oh no, that's all you're gonna put out. He actually should evo this. I feel like if you see this, you should play way, way, way aggressive. I see, yeah, that I like. Because now I have to take seven damage. So boom, you click this, you put fuse, and I pretty much fuse my entire hand. I can lose because of this, but that's fine. Suck it all up. End the turn. Heaven's Gate comes out, which definitely helps him if he spell boosts. He's about to get a card for like less than, less than three, <laughs> less than three. Isn't that how it is? It's less than three. That's like low. Oh baby, he's about to go super aggressive. Holy crap! Let me get one card out of it, which I think if I was paying attention to the Magic Missile, Demon Caller, gotta be aggressive. Gotta be aggressive. I like it. He blows both of his evos. Because he knows this is 9 damage now. But is it enough to stop Belfabit? I don't know. Is it enough? Let's find out. I grow, I grow weary too. I lost one. 
Punch 15, do a bunch of cards. All right, so we also got another Belfamid, so I could suck up all this other stuff here and then be able to play the next Belfamid because this deck is stupid. All right, so all is good is that these all heal me. I can Eva one. That goes over you. That goes over you. And let's see, we just uh, suck this entire hand up. <laughs> oh wait, are you not? Oh, and this is what I was saying, I wasn't paying attention when I made the deck. I now have a card in my hand that might get hit instead of my Belfament. So begging the deck was actually a little bit harder, like because I had to find Machina cards that don't generate anything, and I wasn't paying attention because I thought I just assumed this was Machina. Oh yeah, and all these can't be targeted. Oh poor baby. No, I didn't want to lose. So if I get the, the unfortunate ping, heal for four. Disgusting. I need this to get hit. It's a 50/50 shot, right? Now he hasn't used any Mysterium projects, so I'm still in a pretty good spot here. Skit, 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 scared are you? Scared, scared are you? We're back. To, we were back to full. Yeah, I hate this game. 50/50 shot. If you have any Machina or natural cards in your hand, discard one and put two of that. Make sure that same thing. I just got screwed. I think I lose because of that, if I'm not if I'm being honest. Uh, six have died. Hmm. I'm gonna play something that, that costs two. Does this give me anything? No, it doesn't really help me. Okay. I think I have to Evo this, crash it so it's seven, and hope for some good hits. I think that's the best I can do. Ah, deck building. A radical, I missed that. I, I definitely missed that. Nine damage? Not the best. Not the worst. This card literally just messed up my entire win con. Oh no. I just lost my win con. Now he has four minions on the bit field, so I'm pretty safe that he can't kill me this turn, so. Oh, you probably wish you had that for Belfament. So I'm pretty happy. He can't he couldn't have killed me there. Hey Gulia, what's up, baby? What's up, baby? My deck is completely gone now. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Uh, Die, obscurity. Die obscurity. Did we just trade the? the get you involved as well. Can I evolve over? It can. I think I think we just sit. Well, actually, I can take use this card to get rid of cards like this that I really don't want to do anything, and this card's not gonna do anything, and this card's not gonna do anything. So, I get this card's really not. Actually, no, this card I think evils for free, right? Uh, enhance seven evil for free. And it strikes, it reduces the cost of the other cards. Not bad. And this card again. And I put three of these in my deck too, so it's it's really frustrating me that it's there. <laughs> really frustrating. I gotta be careful not to deck myself out though, because uh, these Belfamets, yeah, you draw three cards. Now this card, I think you draw... Not him. You must have something else for him, okay. I 
But I'm seeing future, future. Reduce the cost of this, which is not really that much, really. Uh, I'm really not a big fan of that. Uh, but yeah, I can do it. It will gain storm, and I could attack, reduce the cards in my hand. But this thing, uh, I think we just play down so I can Techno Lord. Or I, I sh if I do the math correctly, for once in my life, I realize that I can't play this after Techno Lord. Uh. Not threatening lethal, but a really bad misplay. Sometimes I think of one thing and I'm like, that's the answer, and it's not. Oh, that was stupid. I I'm just really scared of my uh, my deck. Uh, how many cards I've left in my deck. Like, if I play this, I draw three cards, right? <laughs> Gotta be careful with that. But would it win me the game? I don't know. He has to kind of kill this because he knows my deck is Machina. What I'm trying to do, what is this thing? I think it's three costs, right? So then technically next turn I can do a kind of power play. This thing only does what, four damage when it comes out? Yeah. So that's five. Okay. Sk scared, are you? Oh my god, this card is making me lose my mind that it's in my deck right now. And it's got even cheaper, so that's really not that bad. Alright, let's not mess this up. I think... If we... Do this right... So how much? It's 12 right now, right? 12? So we, so it's 10, 13, 16, damn, 19. All right, so Oh, I forgot this thing. It does two damage, huh? Do this and it does two damage or something. Okay. I guess you just have to go turn and roll. <laughs> no, then I just lose. That was so stupid. I think I actually had to trade first, and then, um, yeah. The unknown exists within the known. So this is... Oh my god, I'm so mad I messed that up by putting those cards in my deck. I, I messed that last up, turn up, too. For some reason, I was thinking that, that the Ghoulia gave rush to those, but that's not how that works at all. Outside of my misplays, I think that I think I could have won that. I definitely, I definitely think I, I lost that myself. I, I pretty much lost in deck building, honestly. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty fun. What happens when you don't read the card in full? Mm. Mm mm mm. See, like this is what I did Machina. Oh, this must be a Machina card. No. All right, so you're gonna have to wait until my next video, and then I'll probably play more matches with this new deck, trying it out a little bit more, getting used to it. We got. I think a sword legendary and we got a blood legendary so we're gonna be using that i'm gonna liquefy all of dragon craft so we'll have even more vials to play with anywho hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think of the deck if you still saw it in action though we were low we healed back up and we drew out most of our deck but i never like that end game part after you used like two belfaments i usually the person that i've watched has won from there so that was just there was so many cards I didn't know what to do I didn't know should I just fuse I, I it was it was a little bit of a mess and Heaven's Gate kept hitting that one card that I didn't want in my deck anyway so uh. but I hope you guys enjoyed just remember that every day at the casino is your lucky day and I'll see you guys in the next video peace